As always, if you want to support the channel, check out my book down below. Envy Tiny House Heaters is a discount code below in the description. And we have some upcoming videos featuring Tough Text, this clear polycarbonate substance you see here in that crazy treehouse. Also, workshops on the way, all down below. This is one of the things we'll be messing around with at our Joshua Tree workshop, May 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Ferro cement, also messing with Adobe, traditional uh, stick building, stick framing. We're building a tiny cabin, all of us together. You're not just sitting there and listening to me talk about it. You're building with us. You can camp out there as well. Pets are allowed. It's beautiful out there. And each day's activities are from 9 a.m. to almost 9 or 10 p.m. So it's very intensive. You'll be getting a lot of contact hours. I will teach you the secret to mixing ferro cement and quantities and such. And this is just a small scale thing I'm working on. Uh, working on, it's a kind of a riser for a septic system, but it's the same techniques that you would use while building water catchment systems that you see in a lot of third world countries or in the desert, i.e. Joshua Tree, where we're going. I choose to mix with the stick. I guess when I'm using small quantities in a bucket like this, I can really get into the corners easily. But you want to choose a stick that's uh, stout enough where you're not going to bust it because this stuff is so thick. It's a lot of work to mix it up. You could use an electric mixer, but where's the fun in that? Really windy today, by the way, which is, I don't know, it's like 60 something degrees out strange for this time of the year. Here's what the mixture is looking like right now. Kind of like a thick cake batter. You want it thick enough. I apply it with a trowel sometimes, but a lot of times just uh, with gloves. You want to wear gloves at least because you can burn or mess up your hands if you use this stuff quite frequently. But it's almost like putty. There's sand in the mixture, a couple other secret herbs and spices. We'll be talking all about that at the workshop. Doing quite a few things. It's interesting because when you build out in the desert, which is very open, there's things that tend to be more important that you wouldn't have to build or think about in other climates. For one, shade, of course, um, you know, where you want to reside. It gets cold too in the desert too. Insulation, shade. Another thing you have to worry about is uh, wind exposure. So we have a bunch of wind walls out there that we've built in the past out of pallet wood, recycled pallets you know, having to, to set posts and all that, which we'll do as well, but I want to make some wind walls that are a little sexier looking. That's something else we'll do. There's so many projects. Uh, anytime we do these workshops, it's just very, very involved. A lot of tangents. Like I said, Adobe is going to be one of them. Uh, building Adobe blocks. Last time we did a workshop in Joshua Tree, I tested the soil and there's a very simple process for that, which you'll learn at the workshop too. And it turned out to be almost perfect for making adobe bricks the actual soil that's everywhere five acres of it i can make building blocks out of so we'll be doing that as well we did step one last time the testing it takes a couple days and step two is at the next workshop may 1st 2nd 3rd if you want to sign up we're only doing like 16 uh 16 
students, we don't want these to be this giant cattle call. So if you want to sign up, it's relaxshacks.com. Do it while you can. Might have some work trades available. Not sure yet. We have a lot of people helping out already and a lot of guest speakers. But I will be posting about that when the time comes. This stuff isn't fully mixed yet, but here's the idea. Take this stuff and we're just gonna push it into the screening. Some of it will fall off, that's okay. And what I do, the reason I'm working in plywood here, this actually looks real good, is when the stuff falls off, I take a scrap stick like this, and I pick up the excess while it's still wet. This way I'm not really fully ruining this plywood piece in case I want to use it later on. But you know, this isn't enough, but I can take it and work that back into the structure. This is looking pretty good. I want to stir it a little bit more because I really want that sand to be mixed in thoroughly. Sand, Portland cement, water, cayenne pepper. Okay, maybe not cayenne pepper. Although maybe that would keep like insects away. Not that insects will ever eat concrete unless they mutate in the future because of Monsanto additives. I don't know. Yeah, this looks really good. If you're doing a trowel, of course, you can stand up using a hoe uh, and not kind of hunch over like a Quasimodo gremlin, as I'm doing right here, and mix bigger batches of stuff. But this is going on nicely. You have to be careful. This is only two layers of like lath type screening built up that I tied together, a little mess, metal twisty ties, more or less. Um, I have them over there, just pieces of wire. Stuff I found on the side of the road, to be honest. You have to be careful if this stuff isn't sturdy enough, the weight of the concrete over time will warp and shift the form you're building on. So I like to go in slow increments. This stuff starts firming up. Before it's fully dry, I keep adding to it. And uh, as it starts to dry, it adds some rigidity to what I'm doing here. But truth be told, it's kind of fun. You know, like being a kid playing in the mud, which we'll be doing again, Adobe, Ferro Cement and lots, we're not just gonna be playing with cement, but lots and lots of woodworking, building a really cool cabin out there. But it's kind of fun to get super messy. It's like patty cakes for adults. Something I don't know if I've ever played. If I cued in some music, but uh, Facebook would, you know, probably, or YouTube at least, would file a charge against me for copyright infringement. I would right now dub in that, what was this, the, the track from Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg, where they're at the pottery wheel, just to make this whole thing right here really awkward. Stuff goes fast though, so I'm mixing like a third of a bucket at a time, just so I don't break my back. Not ideal, but just kind of having some fun with the stuff here. As it keeps falling off, keep putting the stuff back on. It's supposed to be messy. And then a lot of times I gotta reach through here and this is a small enough project where I smooth. It's pushing through this lath here. You can see I'm dropping some of it. And there's some of it in the middle I gotta reach and clean up later. But you wanna smooth both sides of it as you're going along. I probably could have tied this together better because in some parts where the two layers are separating a little bit, there's too much of an air void or gap in there. So the stuff pushes through and then falls down almost like a connect four checkers when you win. But, Hindsight's 2020, and it's still gonna work rather well. Just want to share with you guys. This is like the most boring YouTube video ever, with a lot of wind interfering. I'll probably post this on Facebook too. Maybe that's where you're watching it. But if you want to sign up for this workshop, I have a bunch of these little tutorials coming up. Check it out, relaxshacks.com, and I hope to see you guys there. It's gonna be fun. We'll be camping out. Like I said, bring your pets if you got to. Byob, all that. Just don't be an idiot. We'll have a great time and build lots of stuff. So thanks for watching as I fling cement everywhere. Wear old clothes, by the way.
This is also something we built at a former workshop, a cabin off grid in the woods of Vermont. This is a tiny house summer camp, which we do every year in September. Relaxshacks.com has details on that. Photos by Chris Danielli. This is just gorgeous. The work he does, the photo work. He does a lot of music videos and other film work as well. But just showing some of the stud work, framing work. This was all done with our workshop students under the guidance of a couple pros. And uh, even though we had a ton of rookies and amateurs, we got a heck of a lot done in a mere two and a half days with limited tools off grid in a beautiful remote location of Vermont. Here's another shot of it. It's about 8 by 12 feet in scope, about 12 feet in height, single pitch roof, and all the windows in there are reused, salvage, which is something we focus on in these workshops. And we hope to see you in Joshua Tree.